well, of course, it's everybody's fault but you Catholic fools. You delusional, Nazi, pedophilic fools. Now you blame it on the parents. You sick fuck. And you, they're screaming at this woman like Hitler. You sound just like Hitler for crying out loud. It's like Ratzinger. Good name for the guy, by the way. Ratzinger. Yeah. Like that name. And he's a perfect head for the nasty, archaic, pedophilic, evil, woman-hating, guilt-ridden, child-molesting, child-mutilating organization. He's a perfect head for it. A perfect monarch. He's a pedophilic, pedophilic in his own right. I'm sure he's probably some kind of weird. Come on, you, you, you keep coming up with these stupid excuses about the times, this and this, and everybody's, everybody's attacking the Catholic Church. Wah, wah, wah. What the hell is wrong with you? You didn't even read any of those notes or anything, did you? You have no idea what any of it said. You're obviously ignorant about it because you got. You're sitting here spouting things that are just totally untrue. You say, what do you mean? If the parents didn't... Knowing how guilty the church makes people feel? You don't think they probably said something to the priest? And he probably, you know, talked him out of it. Or the nuns talked him out of it. Or some other priest talked him out of it. Or the bishop or Ratzinger himself probably talked him out of it. Because you people have this weird thing about making people feel guilty from the minute they're born. You nasty son of a bitch. Now it's the parents' fault. Like this hasn't been going on for hundreds of years. When you take a man and give him accolades so powerful that he actually, you make him think that he sits at the right hand of a deity for crying out loud. Of course he can't do anything wrong. He, you've got him up on this pedestal so high, he seems to think he really is a god. You people are freaky about that. And now you want to blame molesting. You want to blame these priests molesting on the parents. Or even on the times or anything. There were no New York Times five, six hundred years ago. What about Pope Innocent? Not only did he molest children, he molested his own children. Because back then, popes had children. What's wrong with you people? You really think a guy lived in a fish for three days? Do you really think this last pope did three miracles? And so now he's a saint? You do that to every single pope. What gives you the right? And then you want us to respect your belief and respect your organization. It's not the church's fault. It's the people. It's the priest. Nobody takes responsibility over there, especially you. You're probably one of the hiders. Yeah, I can see it in you, Donahue. You just might be one of those hiders yourself. You people make me sick. And the rest of you Catholic parishioners, from now on, anymore, anything happens to your kids, serves you right. Get a clue. Get the hell away from that delusional God-fearing shit and the delusional religious crap and get a human life. Get a fucking life. A real life. Instead, you want to what, take your kids to some Catholic church and, and school and threaten them for the rest of their life? Yeah, threaten them. They're going, if you don't believe we, we, we believe that you're going to burn in hell forever or at least sit in purgatory or whatever other punishment y'all make up and come up with. But then again, all you have to do is go to your priest and ask for forgiveness. You can do anything you want. 
people are just outrageous with this crap, man. You all need to be arrested. And if uh, your poop sets foot in my city, he's under arrest. Tell him to please come to Portland, Oregon. I will place him under citizen's arrest. It's my right and my duty. Send him down. Portland, Oregon. Send him to see me. I'll arrest him myself, even in my wheelchair. I went to your Catholic school. I know what you're about. My question was to them way back then. If Jesus is supposed to be the son of God, he would know that alcohol is a poison and would not turn water into wine. That little misconception right there just threw a loop for me and I thought, well, you stupid, stupid people. You actually believe this crap. In fourth grade. And you still can't figure it out? Later, folks. If you're so stupid to send your kids to those schools and stuff still, still send them to those damn churches. Serves you right. Good afternoon. Stop looking for delusional superheroes and big creator gods. You stop it. Good afternoon. Like I said, this is Portland. I'm just an earthling with the truth.